This is a big day for me because I'm going to show you a very, very special car. It's not that new. It's a car that has made history, especially in this country, for how special it is, how well it would drive and how fast it would be. But the main reason for it to be special is because it's my car. I only got a couple dollars in a borrow. Yeah, yeah, you know it. Oh, well, and fuck it then. I need a few hours to get lost in the moment. Some groupie love, some instant gratification. The homie can't afford a real vacation. So I escaped through the music, Hennessy Patron. I escaped through the fluids, wore my best cologne with hopes that it influenced. This is an old car. This specific one is from 2006 and it's got more than 100,000 miles on the clock. But still, it's a beautiful car. As many of you will know, this has a 1.3 rotary engine, which comes with loads of problems. If you ignore the fact that you've got to top up the oil every now and then, the best MPG you'll ever get, which is around 20. Once you turn the engine on, you can't turn it off until it's warm. If you ignore all that, this is a brilliant car. It's still beautiful, fast, sporty and most of anything the handling is unbelievable but in order to enjoy that you have to cope with the engine which is a bit of a tricky guy there's always a chance you flood with these cars flooding is when some fuel stays in the engine when you turn it off that means that when the apex run on the edge towards the next explosion, there might be a tiny, tiny gap in between the apex and the casing. That means that the compression is gonna be low and possibly even the risk of the car not turning on. Now it's warm enough to get started, but still not to rev it too quick. Yes, in fact, until the engine is up to temperature, you're not supposed to go over the 4,000 revs. Otherwise that could cause damage to the apexes, which means again, risk of low compression. This is the 231. That means 230 brake horsepower. But what this engine actually lacks is torque. Between 2000 and 5000, there's no power. There's just waiting. And you don't even want to floor it in that space because you're going to ruin the engine. Again, you might cause low compression. But I'm not here to talk about the problems with this car. I'm here to talk about how great it is. And you can go around corners, stick to the floor like nothing else. It never understeers. Sometimes it does oversteer. But even then, you know what happens? It's quite easy to handle. It slips away and then you just correct it back. When I sat in this car for the first time, I really laughed at the sound of the engine. It doesn't sound like an engine. It sounds like a vacuum cleaner. And the faster it goes, the more it whistles. Hey, 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 come on everybody. Go ahead and move your body. Move your body. You tell the DJ. Play my shit again. You tell the DJ. That's my favorite song. You know I love that. six pounds for it's quite lucky because usually it's at least 60 it's over 60. I just broke in the microphone. See here, there's supposed to be a plug and it snapped off when I sat on it. Got accepted. And off. Very unhealthy for the car to be turned on and off so quickly. Nobody if she with us not to check it for a digits with the quickness. Two piece in a biscuit sent her to the outer limits. Battle was a battle with your lyrics for lame gimmicks, not from the brain. Good girl. 
city can spit from the brain What riddle is boom, tree do like food on the plate After I ate, scuba under my arms, we have a date Y'all think about the future, I'm thinking I really enjoy going out driving in this car and I really enjoy showing you guys what this car is like I'm really proud of it and I really hope I can take the stigma away from it the stigma of being a cheap car that anybody can afford because literally anybody can buy one of these it's just running it that becomes difficult it's easy to buy it and say oh it's a shit car because it doesn't have enough power it doesn't have enough torque this car is not something you can just buy and drive you gotta learn to use and learn to understand learn to appreciate because when you do it just makes you happy. Oh yes. I've read an interesting quote on a blog. If you find yourself at a traffic light and there is a Mustang next to you, don't try to challenge it because you're gonna lose. But know that you're driving a much more refined piece of engineering. And I like that. And although the handling is great and the balance and the grip I want you guys to also enjoy the engine. This difficult engine that always wants to break, but listen to the progression from 3,000 revs up. Do you hear that? Do you feel it? Whew. Another thing I wanted to do is to show you the sound of this car because it has been it doesn't have the original exhaust anymore yeah it's a special dedicated system I wanted to show you the sound but unfortunately now that the stupid microphone is broken and I have to talk onto that one on top of that and I'm sure you can hear the difference I have to put the camera here on the floor and go in the car and accelerate Nice, huh? My little pride and joy. It's a beauty. It's a beauty. You can't deny it's a pretty car. It still retains lines that are interesting today. I mean, so many cars age quickly. This one, you wouldn't tell, has been designed more than 10 years ago. 13, to be exact. It's red that shines orange in the sunlight. A bit like the guy from Twilight. It's all glittery. I apologize for the spin class sticker. Not to offend anybody, but no, it's not for me. My dad made me do it just to show off with his Italian friends that his son had an English car. Nothing to be excited about. I'm really proud of Mazda for achieving this. The RX-7 was getting there to some, it's still better than this. To me, this is a proper car with a racing spirit, with a fun spirit. I do hope that they're gonna carry on. They did say actually, they already announced that they are working on the next rotary engine and the, when everybody accused them to say, oh, why would you do that? It's such a stupid thing. Rotary is old, it's uh, polluting, is this and that. And their answer was, if we don't do it, who else would? Which I really admire because you don't want this to get to waste. Ride it, ride it on them. Get it's still alive. 
I really enjoyed taking you around for the day, showing you my car, sharing the passion, and I hope this video is going to help me in my quest. Yes, I do have a quest. I want to drive as many sports cars as possible. Drive them and share the experience with you. And to do that, I need manufacturers to lend me the cars. So here I am, going for a first ride with my RX-8, hoping that with your help, I'm gonna get more cars to drive. So go in the comments and write the name of the car you would like to experience next. And don't forget to subscribe. Back to him. That's my lab, now I'm a back to him Now we stay in the court with these hymns 